Okay, I hope you're having a great day so far. So now we're on point number six of having a winner's mindset. Do you feel like a winner today? We don't always feel like a, want a winner, but the fact is, is that you are. When you're applying that principle of desire, the desire of having a winner's mindset every single day. And point number six is the greatest achievements are those that benefit others. That's why Henry Van Dyke said, there is a loftier ambition than merely to stand high in the world. It's to stoop down and lift mankind a little higher. It is, it is, the greatest achievements that you can make or you or I will ever have are those that benefit other. You know, it's one thing to go on this personal development journey, this mindset journey. And then it's another to understand of how can I take it to lift up and build up others? What can I do to help bring the change? It says, you know, be the change that you desire to see in the world. Be that desire that you want to see. Be that change that you desire to see in the world. You know, we enjoy seeing other people being significant and being influencers. You know, that's how we can, we can model after those people that, that are doing and being and becoming with their life. But where is your responsibility in that as well? We can't wait for other people to step up, you know, and take leadership and take charge. I mean, not all of us, of course, are leaders. There's different levels of leadership. There's different levels of influence. But if you're a mother, brother, sister, father, brother, whatever, you are influencing. There is somebody watching you. Even your dog is watching you. You know, your dogs know your attitude. They know your behavior. They know your, your love for them or your rejection or if they're nuisance or if they're welcomed. We are influencing people all around us. And the Ecclesiastics writer said, two are better than one because they have a good return for the work if one falls down. A friend can help them up but pity the man who falls, who has no one to help him. Pity is the one that has no one to help him. So winner's mindset talks about, thinks about, lives out. <laughs> Not only, you know, growing their self, but who can I grow around me? And who can I bring along with me? And who can I lift up beyond me? I tell my kids all the time, I want to set this bar really high. Not because they need to strive, but because I want them to go much further than I could possibly imagine. So I have my kids like cheering me on. Mom, make sure, <laughs> make sure you go far. Go far for us, mom, because we want to go so much further. And I say, amen. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited. Whether I get to see it and experience it from heaven or earth, I am cheering you on, cheering you on to be everything that you've been called to be and do, to do and to have. You know, number one leaders lead for the benefit of others. And that's why you lead, if you're a leader, you lead for the benefit of others. I hope that you've enjoyed these six points of winner's mindset and that you take some time to ask these questions for yourself. How am I developing myself? Who am I, who am I growing with? And how can I add to others? Grace Simon says, sign off, be well, and be brilliant. Have an amazing day.